I'm back. Road rants on the box office. That's right. Let's talk about two big new openers this weekend. Um, well, big from the standpoint of they're big in name, but their box office could be taken as not so big. Um, the obvious one is Dark Phoenix. But let's start with the movie that actually finished in first place, which is The Secret Life of Pets 2. I saw the first one in the theater, actually. Um, I enjoy it. I've got rescue animals. Me and my wife was like, we've got to go see this. And it, it was funny. It was funny. I'll watch this at some point. Um, I won't go to the theater to see it, though. Uh, the Secret Life of Pets opened at $47 million. And it does have a budget of $80 million, uh, which means you could roughly, generally double that with marketing. But what is sort of odd is I didn't see nearly the marketing push with this particular release um, that I did with the previous film, with which had a massive marketing push. Secret Life of Pets was everywhere. Um, and I don't know how much that affected Dark Phoenix, um, opening against essentially another movie that was going to be perceived as a box off, uh, a box office hit, maybe. Secret Life of Pets actually did, well, the numbers have actually updated now. It has done $48,035,000. Um, uh, the screen refreshed as I changed it. And it did a uh, $49 million haul overseas. So it made $97 million worldwide. So it is actually $17 million past its production budget and is now into the marketing budget. Um, so if you figure this thing takes in worldwide half of that, in its third week, it's going to be in a profit. Secret. Secret Life of Pets won't be a uh, two won't be a huge blockbuster, uh, but it will do nice business in the long run. Um, whether or not it actually warrants a sequel, I sort of doubt it, and I'm willing to bet you they thought it would. Now comes the the movie everybody's talking about: Dark Phoenix, the X Men movie. Okay, and it did. It bombed in the in the U.S. It absolutely bombed. Um, it's got a Rotten Tomato critic score of twenty two percent. Now the audience score is actually like sixty five percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and there's a couple of three creators out there in our community that said this thing's not nearly as bad as people uh, have said or the critics have said. Um, it looked awful in the trailers. I'm just being honest. I thought the trailers were terrible for this movie. Um, and usually, if if trailers are that horrible, the movie is awful. Uh, at least in my opinion, in my experience. Um, it did do pretty well overseas. It, it had a $107 million haul overseas. Uh, the problem is... It opened so poorly domestically that this thing's gonna this thing's gonna struggle. I've heard upwards of maybe I know it had upwards of about a two hundred million dollar production budget. Um, I don't know that they spent that much in marketing, but let's say they let's say they spent two hundred on on marketing. This thing's got to make four hundred million to break even. I don't know. It would have to have a hell of a foreign haul. And the foreign is actually 76% of the total box office. I guarantee you the studio thought this thing was three months ago was going to open closer to $100 million. And had it opened at that, this movie would have done okay. Uh, right now, it looks like a bomb. A monumental bomb. 
Um, it could go down as a historic bomb, and it is embarrassing for an X-Man movie. The next one, Aladdin. Uh, Aladdin's killing it. Um, Aladdin is now at... Uh, Aladdin made another $24.5 million domestically. Um, it's made $232 million dollars domestically and it's now made 604 million dollars worldwide um, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 million dollars in the profit now uh, after marketing uh, 250 to 300 million i didn't see it coming i, I thought aladdin had a top end of about 500 million dollars i was totally wrong about this one aladdin looks like it's easily going to hit about $800 million at the box office. Um, it's going to be a hit. Uh, 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 it's plenty. It's a hit now. Uh, the next one, and this is the one that's really sad for me, but I can't say anything because I haven't seen the movie yet. And it is getting me reviews. But I'm very careful about people that don't like Godzilla movies because I'm looking for monsters fighting. Okay, I don't. I'm not looking for the Godfather Part Two when I go see one of these movies. Uh, so I do take that into account when I go to see a monster flick. Um, Godzilla King of Monsters came in at uh, fifteen and a half million dollars. Had a real hard drop, sixty-eight percent, and that was after a soft open. Um, now. You're starting to see that foreign total from Godzilla come in. Uh, $213 million overseas so far. And the movie now sets at $292 million worldwide uh, on a production budget of $170 million. This thing will be in the profit um, probably by midweek. And then everything from midweek on through will 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 start being money. Um, the foreign box office is so good for Godzilla that they might still continue with that Kong versus Godzilla uh, storyline, right? Because this thing may end up doing well on home video, et cetera, et cetera. It's just that the domestic box office on Godzilla is not good. I mean. It's not at $80 million yet, and I'm willing to bet you they thought the first weekend they would make more money than it's made in two weekends. And I'm surprised, too. I thought I thought it would open at $100 million. I really did. Um, so, that's Godzilla's narrative right now. Uh, is your box office rundown um, for Dark Phoenix? Took one right on the chin. Um you know, it it the trailers didn't look good. I did you know, normally I would go see an X Man movie opening weekend and I was just I was just sorta of out from trailer one, completely out. So, you know, I'll watch it on home video at some point. You tell me what you think in the comment section below, Road Squadron. Peace, I'm out till next time.